Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to introduce you guys to my puppy. His name is Milo. He is a full bred Yorkie and yeah, I just wanted to introduce you guys to him and show you the essentials if you're thinking about getting a puppy or a new dog and what I had to get for him. Without further ado, um, let me introduce you to Milo. We're Milo. This is Milo. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, Milo. Oh my God, he's... <laughs> he is everything. I love him so much. He's so cute. He's small. He's literally like, literally, he's tiny. <laughs> so yeah, that's Milo. I'm so happy we finally have him and he's a part of the family. Getting a puppy is not easy and it's not simple and it takes time and it takes money and all of that. And overall, I mean, he was expensive. Out the door, like to actually get him, I actually got him from a local breeder in Arizona. She actually helped me throughout the whole process and everything. I actually found him when he was only a week and a half old, I believe. I really was specific to this race or wanted a Yorkie really bad and whether it was an adult or not we were going to try to adopt first but unfortunately we weren't able to go that route we didn't find a Yorkie or anything like that in any pound or animal shelter and we didn't end up going that route but if you are looking for a puppy or anything like that I would recommend you look that way first and like I said I got him through a local breeder and she was so sweet, she helped the whole process out and she's been doing this I believe for a few years now so she definitely had the experience, she takes care of the puppies and I didn't get him actually until 8 weeks. I paid a total of $800 for him if anybody is wondering. Okay guys, I'm sorry my battery died. The breeder ranges in prices. I was required to put a down payment on him and I did that and then I was required to fulfill like the rest of the payment through. So that's what we did and yeah. The breeder also went ahead and provided me signed forms saying that this dog was officially mine and like proof of payments and stuff like that with her signature and my signature. So definitely if you are looking for a breeder or you're going through a breeder, you want to make sure you get that documentation and stuff like that. Don't put money down just because you're like excited about it or anything like that. That's definitely a big no. You want to make sure that what you are putting your money to is safe and secure and all that stuff. But I believe as of now, we officially had him for about three weeks or so. I'll show you all the goodies I had to buy him before getting him. I actually did all of this within the span of like two months or so, which was really good because I was able to break down paychecks and paychecks. But honestly, if you do all of this, it's a good amount of money. That's not just, you get a puppy and great you get to like play with him no it's way more than that they need attention they need love they need care they need patience like a ton of patience so just make sure you provide and you are there for all of that and i'll show you guys where he sleeps right now yorkies are also a very delicate race they tend to have delicate teeth so you want to make sure they're clean all the time i basically purchase things for him based off of his needs as like the type of race that he is so definitely you're getting a puppy make sure you look into what their needs are in terms of like their race as well i did not know a lot of things about yorkies until i made research okay so this is his little cube it's really girly i know it's just an old cube that i had so when he actually starts being able to go outside and like go for walks i purchased these like little potty bags i bought him this little harness i'll tell you guys where all of these is all of these are from this is from tj maxx it was only three dollars this is from chewy.com i don't know exactly the price at the top of my head but this is from chewy uh this is a little harness it's in the size extra small like i said their tracheas are very sensitive so i didn't really want to walk him on a collar i got him these two combs if you don't know a lot of dogs with long hair can get what's called matted and their hair just gets really tangled at the roots so i actually do comb him almost 
once a day to be honest i try to call him very frequently this one i purchased from chewy.com this one i purchased at walmart it was like three bucks or so this is the shampoo i will be using for when i shower him i got this at petco or petsmart it's called it's by john paul pet and it is the oatmeal shampoo it's actually very good for sensitive skin for dogs and cats so if you have a cat you can also use this this is what i use to maintain him clean these are the mega value oatmeal pet white these i got at tj maxx for only 7.99 and it's a big can of 200 white i just use this on his fur so it'll clean off any dirt residue it says that you can use it on it cleans face ears body and eye area then i also got these plaque tooth wipes it cleans teeth gums plaque and these i bought at walmart i believe for only like four or five bucks maybe probably less to be honest then as soon as i start to get him to walk outside i also bought these paw wipes with bomb protectant so i got these at tj max for five dollars i also got these oster fresh snuggles refreshing spray this also helps like i said it keeps him smelling good it smells like baby powder so he just, he's a baby still so i want him to smell like a baby also when i went to the vet they recommended me to start trimming his nails so that way he starts getting used to it if you are not comfortable trimming their nails or anything like that please do not do it please do not like it's better for the vet to do it or the actual groomer to do it than you to do it if you really are not comfortable doing it you will hurt your puppy you will cut their vein and they will bleed and it will hurt them and i just use these like baby nail trimmers okay and of course along with showering him i got him a towel this was only like five bucks at walmart i did also purchase a bag on chewy.com it looks like this also has like a foamy part inside so it's comfy for them it has lots of space. For pee pads, I purchased at Costco. It was only like 15 bucks. These are the pads that I bought him. Now I'm gonna show you guys his little setup. Okay, so this is his little setup. The gate I purchased off of Chewy.com. His little door opens out. This is the confined space that we're keeping him in for now. Just to teach him that he needs to go on his pee pad, which he has a few poops and stuff, so disregard that, sorry. Point, look at him. Who is that, Milo! <laughs> okay, so this water bowl and food bowl, I got it on Chewy.com as well. The pads are from Costco, and his little bed is from PetSmart. It's just a little bed I got like for 15 bucks, I believe. The little blanket is actually a baby blanket that I got from TJ Maxx. It was only like $5. All of his toys were honestly combined. It. Hey, little guy. Hey. <laughs> you so handsome, aren't you? Oh, Milo. <laughs> Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to close out the video here. This is Milo. Let me know if you guys have any further questions leave them in the comments below like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video